Ah, chocolate. The tasty confectionery that comes in various ways. In biscuit, in cake, in fudge, in bars, in ice cream. The list goes on and on. Chocolate is one of the most glorious snacks we could ever hope for. You can have a dark white or brown. It just makes your life better. Feeling sad? Eat some chocolate. Your dog died? Eat some chocolate. You woke up from a 10 year coma after a car crash and were the sole survivor. But all your family died in said car crash? Eat some motherfucking chocolate. Now unfortunately like most things in life I'm here to ruin this for you. It turns out that the coca plant harvest is done so from child slave labour. The farmers who grow it which is approximately 73 to 90% do not earn a living income. In fact only 6% of the value of chocolate bars make it back to the actual farmers themselves. The coca bean is mostly harvested in the Ivory Coast in Ghana who supplies 70% of the world's coca. Now because we live in a capitalistic society it will not shock you when I tell you that the reason the farmers see so little of the money is because there isn't a huge flux of buyers meaning that the price can be controlled by the buyer rather than the seller. The reason for this is, is because there's only five companies that buy from the farmers who in turn sell half the world's chocolate. These would be Mars, Mondelez, Ferrero, Nestle and Hershey. This gives the buyers a huge advantage in controlling how much they pay and leaves farmers with very little option. Farmers are forced to grow plants in forests protected by their government so they can produce more despite the fact that it is illegal. Now if that's not bad enough, one thing that all these companies claim is that the coca beans they produce either come from very little child labour or none at all. Again, this won't shock you of course, but they're of course lying. In fact, some places where they claim on their website where the plants are actually picked from the forests that they harvest claim that child labour does not take place. And journalists have gone to these said places and literally within two seconds of being at these farms have seen children working on these farms. And the, the, the really sad thing is, is that there is approximately 2.1 million children working in the slave trade in Ghana and the Ivory Coast. The children in West Africa are living in extreme poverty and are often forced to work at a young age and traffickers tell them it will pay well. Or otherwise often traffickers abduct young children from small villages in neighboring African countries such as Burkina Faso and Mali which are two of the poorest countries in the world. Once taken some children don't see their family for years if they ever do again. Most of the ages are from 12 to 16 but some reported as being young as 5 years old. They are often forced to work up to 100 hours a week. Children are also exposed to chemicals and pesticides without any protection. They do not get paid and they've never even tasted chocolate in their lives and most never will. Children are often whipped for working too slowly as well as if they try to escape. It's fucking horrible. So how have the chocolate companies reacted to the clear evidence that they have uh, child slave labor being used to pick these coca plants? Well, these companies have missed many, many deadlines to uproot the child labor going on. In 2005, they claimed they had a deadline in 2008, in 2010, they claimed that they would eradicate it. So they basically kept pushing the goalposts every few years. And then by 2020, they went from saying that they would eradicate slave labor to that they would reduce it by 70%. And it will not shock you at all when I tell you that there has been literally no change even since that prediction. And it's now nearly 2024. So at the end of the day, I think it's fairly fair to say that it's a multi-billion dollar industry and these companies will continue to use smoke and mirrors, continue to gaslight us as the public into believing that this is not happening or at least not at the scale that we believe it to be or at least at a, they are reducing it to a level that is acceptable although I'd argue that there's no acceptable level other than 0%. Now to be fair, Ghana and Ivory Coast aren't the only places that use slave trade with children. We also see it in countries such as Cameroon, Ghana, Nigeria as well as Brazil. Of course, there isn't any justification of slave labor, especially ones that involve children. Farmers are forced to do this because, like I said, the big companies simply will not pay them a fair wage for the coca plant that they sell. Now, this does not in any way justify farmers using child labor. It's still deplorable, but these companies are the direct blame for this. If you're a company that makes billions per year, per year, on um, making chocolate by buying from the supply chain which clearly uses child slave labor and when you will not pay the farmers a fair price it is your fault that there is children being used and they do not give a fuck and they will continue to do so and all they will keep doing is pushing the goalposts further and further into the future until there is literally no cocoa plant left because that's more likely going to happen before they actually 
do anything else. The truth is as well for us consumers today is that we have no sure way of knowing if the chocolate we buy was involved in using slavery or child labor. Between a quarter and a third of all coca is grown under a certification level such as various fair trade certifications and the Rainforest Alliance slash UTZ certification. But no single label can actually guarantee that the chocolate was made without the use of extensive exploitive labor. The third party inspectors that actually do the certifications are usually only required to visit fewer than 10% of the coca plants. That's 10% and also the Farmers are told in advance when it is they will be going so they can hide all the children from the coca farms. It really is deplorable, disgusting behavior. Some of these kids will never see their families again. They're in countries that are so poor that they're forced to be fooled into believing they will be paid a fair wage. Now in these countries, children are forced to work because families are so poor. And whatever money they make goes to the family to run the household. A lot of them aren't even able to get education because of this. But on top of that now, we have these traffickers coming in claiming that they will be paid a fair price. And the kid will be gone and the chances of them even seeing their loved ones ever again is slim. The chances of them being educated is slim. The chances of them even ever tasting the chocolate that is produced because of the cocoa plant picking that they do is incredibly slim. Most of the time these kids tend to live in cramped small conditions. They are fed with low quality low grain food. A lot of them are malnutritioned. A lot of them get infections because they use machetes to cut the cocoa plant. They are whipped of course which will also bring a huge amount of trauma to the body. And on top of that all the mental trauma that is created for life. Even if they escape, they're going to spend the rest of their life being traumatized from the pain that they were put through. Also, we could have our hot chocolates. Also, we can eat, eat our dairy milks and feel good about ourselves. Now, that being said, how much responsibility do we have? What can we do to kind of help with these things? It's one of those kind of, it's a difficult one to answer because just like my video I did on the cobalt mining, everything that we have in the West, I mean, a lot of what we have in the West is contributing to some sort of labor whether it's cheap clothes whether it's the cobalt we use in phones and in the batteries which is cobalt mining and whether it's the labor camps that make the apple iphones etc etc the list goes on and on and on so like what can we do like how much guilt should we feel now i wouldn't necessarily say that we should personally feel guilt but the one thing you can do is get in touch with your local politicians put pressure on the governments to actually put pressure on these companies that have these monopolies another thing you could do although it only really is effective if everyone does it is boycott chocolate which is an incredibly difficult thing to do chocolate is a very delicious snack and i for one enjoy eating it too now whether or not we can actually as the consumer can make a real impact i'm not so sure but can we trust our governments to actually enforce new laws and new regulations to actually stop the horrible conditions that are going on. I don't know. There's so much corruption going on all the time. So it's hard to be optimistic about it. You can't help but feel for the kids that are forced to suffer through this. And it's just really another example of the West exploiting these rich uh, resources, like all these countries that have so, so vast resources that should be wealthy themselves and have no chance. Like parts of Africa that are so poor that kids are forced to work in slavery and forced to live off nothing and then you have these obviously these companies coming out who literally will just gaslight us consistently over and over and over again i'm not trying to make anyone feel bad for enjoying chocolate if you like eating chocolate if it gives makes your day fair play to you go ahead but i think it's important that you do know that if you do eat chocolate the plant that is picked to produce the chocolate was picked by a child who was forced to work for no pay in horrible conditions and as young as five years old so do with that information as you will. I do want to leave you just with just one quote from a escaped uh, child slave who was quoted saying, when people eat chocolate, they're eating my flesh. So that's it, guys. Thanks so much for watching. It's a, obviously a very decisive topic. It's a very, it was a very tough topic for me. I was not expecting the level of abuse and horror that these children go through and i'm not surprised that yet again like in other industries there's these big corporations that control and monopolize certain industries and they will exploit and bleed countries dry of all their money and leave the people who actually put the work in with nothing as we in the west benefit from it but let me know what you think in the comments below have you heard about this slave labor thing what does it make you change your mind about whether or not you want to eat chocolate 
or is it this cognitive dissonance that we can just ignore these issues that go on consistently and constantly tr throughout the years as we evolve in the western world let me know in the comments below what you think thanks so much for watching i will see you in the next video um peace out